the elements of road. So, as you can see in the picture here, these are the various elements of the road which each and every road will commonly have. Here, you have different elements. So, from the center of the road, if we start with, we have carriageway, then following that you will have the shoulders, then you will have the drainage, and then you have the boundary lines, and then the building lines, as well as the last two lines are called as control lines. And there are some other things that you can see above. One is called the formation or roadway. And the second uh, uh, information that you can see here is the right of way. And the last one is the distance between the control points. Now, let us look into each of the parameters. What are they and what are its definition and specification. Now, let me start with the center line. Now, what is the center line of the road? As the word suggests, it is the exact center of alignment. It is not the center of the road. It is the center of alignment of any roadway. Now, what is the difference between the center of road and center of alignment, if you ask me? The center of road may change according to the curves. In some areas where you have a curve in this horizontal manner, there might be increase in the width of the carriageway. But the alignment or the center of the alignment will be same in each and every case. It will be irrespective of the width of the road. Following that, you have another thing called as carriageway. This is a very important part of any roadway. What is this carriageway? It is nothing but that portion of the road which enables the movement of vehicles. So whatever you see the bitumen surface that is filled on the road, that width of the road is called as the carriageway. So this is the surface that allows the movement of vehicles to and fro. Now moving ahead, if you see the next element that is on either sides of the road, that is towards both the left hand as well as the right of the road, you have a small portion that is called as shoulders. What are these shoulders? These are also called as emergency lanes. As I already told you, shoulders are also called as emergency lanes. Now, from the word itself, you can understand these are called, these are for, meant for emergency purposes. Like, if you have a blockage of uh, traffic in the uh, main carriageway and there is an emergency vehicle like an ambulance or a fire uh, uh, engine uh, uh, truck uh, which has to maneuver through the traffic, then in such cases, they use or they make use of this uh, shoulder area or the shoulder part to maneuver through the vehicles. In other cases, in uh, for example, in other cases, for example, when you are traveling in a national highway or a state highway and you have a sudden breakdown of your vehicle, in such cases you cannot leave your vehicle on the carriageway. It would be a disturbance to the other vehicles that are moving at a very high speed in such highways. In such situations, these vehicles are moved to the shoulder part, that is the emergency lane and the uh, breakdown is being getting repaired. So, this shoulder is meant for such purposes and it is very much required in national and state highways. 